Hello everybody and welcome to Wasteland 3. In this heat wave that's been hitting all over the world, what's better than a Wasteland 3 to cool us off with this snowy and blizzardly feel filled um, Colorado? So Wasteland 3 is a role-playing video game developed by Inksile Entertainment and published by Deep Sil Silver. This is a sequel to Wasteland 2. Personally, I haven't played any Wasteland 3. Well, I haven't played Wasteland 3, obviously, but I haven't played any Wasteland game at all. I'm a huge fan of Fallout games, but I just haven't ever played Wasteland. For So, um, for me, this opportunity to play this game right now um, is special because I get to dive in into this universe. So, the game is released today, August 18th. You can pick it up from uh, different... Uh, you know, platforms, Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. So I'm going to tell a little bit what Wasteland 3 is about and we're going to dig in. So basically it's a squad-based role-playing video game featuring turn-based combat played from isometric perspective. The game will feature synchronous and asynchronous multiplayer. In the game, players need to make various choices which would have different impacts on the game's world and the story. The game introduces a vehicle that the player can use to traverse the world and store supplies. Interesting. The main campaign can be played cooperatively with another player. So that's pretty much what we're going to experience from gameplay, which is going to be interesting. And the story is that Wasteland 3 is set in a freezing wasteland of the post-ecalyptic Colorado. We'll take control of the last surviving member of Team November, a ranger squad. So we, we are like sort of like the police or something like rangers like the army well we're gonna find out so let's begin okay new game that's an interesting thing all right what do we have here these are the different difficulty settings rookie for players more interest in story than combat a less lethal Sub-Zero Hellscape. Easy combat difficulty, friendly fire off. Okay, Wastelander. For new and returning players who want to experience the waste as intended, a harsh but fair apocalypse. Normal combat difficulty, friendly fire off. Okay. Ranger. For veteran strategy game players seeking a challenge, a cruel and unforgiving world. Hard combat difficulty, friendly fire on. And Supreme Jerk. For the hardest of the hard, a soul killing nightmare of brutality. Not even remotely fair. <laughs> Extremely combat difficulty, friendly fire on. Alright. I'm gonna go with the Wastelander. Though. I don't know about the friendly fire. Well. We could just have it off and see how it goes okay okay so look at this difficulty ranger headquarters has dispatched a convoy of rangers to colorado to establish a lifeline of vital supplies to arizona i guess arizona was at the previous game every monster was a man first edward alby It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then, the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Team reported an 
alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the Brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. Yeah, it's been a rough road lately, but that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. So, there we go. That was an intense, um, awesome cutscene. So, it prompted us to the character selection screen and how we're going to customize them. So, I'm not going to go with... Uh, this is against the presets that you can choose of different ready-to-go characters. Uh, Yuri and Spence. Spence. Lovers and rivals since first joining the Rangers. Yuri and Spence's competitiveness drives them to excellence and risky dares. Punk lovers. Thrills, kills, and spears are the fire bre breath of the star-crossed punk, lo punk rock lovers who fought their way out of their cult they were raised in. Right. Father and daughter. William has been a nearly wordless killing machine since his wife died. His daughter, Lee Tsing, there's all the talking and some of the killing. Mentor and student. Mercs who have served under the good commanders and bad, they hope this time they're fighting for folks who won't make them do terrible things. Right. Tech heads. Science geeks who fell in love. They are socially awkward with outsiders, but chatty with each other, revealing in and jokes only they get. Alright, that was it for the pre-selected characters to start with but we're gonna go create custom characters all right first things first we gonna put a name can you put a name identification okay we're gonna go with a strange name we're gonna go with sodom gonna be a male and his voice is gonna be shoot you started it come and get it scumbag oh, man. this is not the best they've spotted us they see us they see us damn shit just got real damn are you crazy <laughs> let's do get ready get ready get ready Spotted. We can handle this. We can okay. handle this. Choo choo. Here comes the. Oh, man. They've Enemy. They see us. New All right. We're going to go coming. with ice. Uh, background. Bookworm. Hmm. I don't think he's a bookworm. So. 
You grew up in the ex Central Arizona race among scientists, which means you know how to do research. It's not hard. People just aren't in the habit of picking up books anymore, which is good because no one knows all your clever jokes and pick up lines are completely stolen from dead 20th century authors. So this one gets experience bonus 5%. I'm not going to pick this one, though. Desert Cat, Discipline of the Metal, Exploding Maniac, Gold Killer, Greasy Monkey, Lethal, lethal Weapon. I'm thinking of maybe doing this a melee character, like a knight thing, you know, heavy armor, heavy two-handed weapon, get up close, but maybe also like a shotgun or something like that. What are these cells? Menorite, kick ass plus one, barter, money bags, moppy poet, evasion, 5%, paladin, crit resistance 10%. Raider Hater, bonus damage to humans, sex machine, combat speed plus 0 plus 2. Stoner, status effect resistance 10%. The boss, hard ass plus 1. You've been told that you don't consider people's feelings. Unfortunately, that crap died a hundred years ago in a goddamn nuclear holocaust. You're not going to make it holding hands and singing Kubaya. If people want to survive, they gotta shut up and follow orders. Okay. Vicious Avenger, penetration plus two. You didn't survive the slave fan because you were most most clever. You didn't endure the lashes and heat because you were the strongest. You survived that hellhole because of your hate. Hate choked your captors to death and hate set you free. And thanks to the Desert Rangers and their mission, you're putting that hate to good use. Right. Okay, what's the lethal weapon? Old posters make it clear that 1980s were a good time to be an out-of-control cop. They were taking out bad guys and they didn't care if they did it by the book. You don't, you don't either. You've been taking the fight to slavers and crime bosses without backup since you joined the Desert Rangers. The only thing that would make it perfect if someone called you a loose cannon. Okay. So... The bonus damage to humans is also interesting, but I guess humans is not the only thing we're going to be fighting in this this frozen haven, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking either on melee weapon damage or um, explosive maniac. Hmm. Fire damage bonus. Okay, let's go with a lethal weapon. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay. Appearance. My, my. There's a lot of customization. I guess this first half an hour is going to go to all of that. Well, it's pretty needy, so why not do it? All right. It's going to be... Give me a face. Give me a good face. What the hell? There's more. There's a lot more. A lot of tattoos and stuff you can put on your face. This one looks like you've been through a whole hell hole. Alright. Might be this. Scarred badass dude. Skin color. Green. Wow, like an orc. Or blue from the so much ice and snow and cold around. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go with the white. Super white. Because it's uh, no sunshine. You know, there's no tan. But previously they were in Arizona. So it could make sense that he got some tan. I don't know. I don't know with which one we're going to go. I mean, the black is also like this super, he looks like a demon or something. Now oh hell, we'll go with this one. Kind of like it. All right, hair. Okay, what's going to be with the hair? Okay, this is a weird combinations. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. 
Oh, is it a Super Saiyan? Alright. Oh, really spiky. Or no hair. Okay. I'll do it. I'm gonna make him kind of like me, you know. I'm starting to lose my hair, so. And a huge beard, like Santa Claus. The henchman. Yeah. That's good. That's awesome. But. What about the color? Can you use a. You know, dye the beard or. Okay. Helmet. Huh. <laughs> Well, that kind of hides everything. Well, there's a lot of stuff. Wow. Alright. There's a lot of stuff. It's interesting. But it hides the beard, though, so... Huh. Gas mask. These are, I guess, purely cosmetic. Okay, that's funny. Cowboy. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, friend, but I guess I'm gonna leave you freeze the freezer of your head. <laughs> well, we're gonna put in the other character something. Okay, now this is gonna go with something from something bulky. Remember, I want to make him as a, as a knight thing. Okay, that's bulky enough. I guess it's the bulkiest, closest thing to a par armor. Ranger heavy chest, pants. Okay, ranger specialist, tundra, heavy legs. All right. Armor color. Wow. What are we going to go with? How about white? Well, or just dark. Right, physique. Huge, gigantic. What? <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay. Stocky, compact. I don't know, it's, it's a belly or not? Build medium slender jacked stocky. Let's go with a jacked portrait. All right. How do you wanna see ourselves? Um that's no not this one, definitely not. We're gonna go with I don't know. Or this or this. I'm gonna go with this. Okay. Okay, last last look at the color so I don't change my mind. Maybe maybe we'll make him as an orc a little bit. Or yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Okay. Starting weapon. Okay, assault rifle, submachine gun, semi-auto pistol, pump shotgun, sniper rifle, bladed weapon. Your best friend, the waist, is a finely honed blade. Blades are the perfect for fighters who like to get up close and personal. They strike often and deal high damage to enemies with light armor. What about the heavy armor? Blunt weapon. It doesn't get more basic than hitting people with a stick or more satisfying. Blood weapons deal high damage to enemies in heavy armor and with a little training can stun stun with that within two brawling weapon no definitely not heavy weapon wow okay heavy machine guns deal tons of damage and punch through armor with ease shooting them while moving however is almost impossible they're far too heavy and inaccurate 
But the train they get grateful laid down covering fire. Hmm. Well, I think that well, I want him to be able to go up close and kill stuff. But I don't know if the build I've did is well thought. Like with a huge thing. Hmm. Alright. He's gonna do this while the other one is gonna be with uh, doing other stuff. Okay. Attributes. Okay. There we go. Coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, charisma. Okay, let's go with the coordination. What is this? Coordination is your physical condition, self-control and health. Take care of your body until it will take care of you. Okay. Luck. Luck is your guardian angel. Whenever you're f uh, lining up the decisive attack, dodging coming fire down to your bottom dollar, sometimes the winds of fortune blow you away. Awareness is your sense of your surroundings. A good ranger knows that often it's your eyes and ears that keep you alive. Strength is your raw physical power and ability to shrug out harm. It lets you hit harder, throw further, and lots of serves as a requirement for biggest, baddest heavy weapons and armor. Hmm. Okay. I guess strength is gonna be something I'm gonna use for sure. Let's read the rest. Speed is your physical quickness and reaction time. Strike first, strike true, then get out of there. Intelligence is your ability to make mental connections and do tactical thinking. Charisma is your force of will and personality. A charismatic ranger can at least strike abilities more often, learn and adapt more quickly, and can be a more effective leader. Okay. We're not going to go with charisma with this one. So, intelligence gets you critical chance, plus 12. This gives combat speed, evasion, initiative. Combat speed. These bolts give you combat speed. No, wait. This gives you combat speed. This gives you con per level melee damage bonus, which we're gonna use. Uh, hit chance. Range damage bonus. Luck. Okay. Coordination. Penetration. Okay. Lesson how this is gonna be. Seven points remaining. So. We're gonna go to strength. Uh, okay, this is gonna be. Okay. We're gonna go sp one speed. I like luck. We're gonna go two luck. And. Okay, and we're gonna go one intelligence and one still remaining. Okay, and we're gonna go strength. So, mostly strength, then luck, then speed, then intelligence. Back, skills. Alright, four points. Okay, there's a lot of customizations that you can see, guys. So if you're bored, you can just skip it, and yeah, we'll see you see you know the rest of the video. Wait, I might play some a bit, but first I gotta fix them right. So you know I play with it. So basically, it's just a video about showing what you can, you know, you start up characters, what you, what's the skills, what's the attributes, so you know what you're getting into. Um, okay, four points. We want... What is this? Big guns. Makes you more effective with heavy machine guns, flamethrowers, and other oversized weapons. Recommended attributes, awareness, coordination, strength. Mm, not, not big guns. Brawling makes you more effective with fist-based fist weapons. No. Melee combat. Makes you more effective with bladed and blunt weapons. Recommended attributes, strength, coordination, speed. 
Okay. Small arms, sniper rifles. General skills, animal whisperer, explosive first aid, sneaky shit, weird science. Holy crap, there's so much. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go with melee combat. We're gonna put... Uh, we're gonna put two in melee combat. Then we're gonna put... Allows you to tame friendly animals to follow you and temporarily tame hostile animals in combat. Okay, we want a pet. I don't know if we want a pet. <laughs> Exploration skills, armor modding. Allows you to modify armor, grenade, increase protection, additional benefits. Okay, kind of like armor modding. Improves the ability to avoid dangers on the world map contend with hostile wildlife. Hmm. Okay, let's go with armor modding. And what else? What's it gonna be our second weapons? Hmm. Well, I guess you're gonna use some kind of shotgun or something, so or some kind of a big gun. So flamethrowers uh Yeah. I don't know. First aid. Makes you more effective when using healing items and reviving squad members. Yeah. Emergency response. We could use some first aid though. So I'm gonna put that. Okay. Quirk. Quirks. Some rangers and quick quirk quirk. Ugh, God damn quirkier than others. Quirks are completely optional. Selecting a quirk gives your ranger a powerful bonus and penalty changer to the playstyle dramatically. Character creation is the only chance you have to assign a quirk. And once you do, you're stuck with it. Choose wisely. Oh. Okay. No quirk. We are a really unexceptional person. Blunderer, people like teasing you about dumb strength and the smart application of force and you like squeezing those people until one of their bones breaks. Okay, melee damage. 15%, but critical chance minus 50, so... Hmm. Bob bag. Hits are just part of your life. The important thing you after it get hit is that you pivot on your weight base and rotate back up again. Circus Freak. In tra it transforms when you become its vessel. It's funny, no one even cared who you were until you put on the noose. Combat speed. Crit resistance. Okay, that's interesting. Death Wish. They don't get it. There is a bullet out there with your name on it, and it won't matter what gear you're wearing until um, where it comes. Until then, you're better off moving fast and lean. What? Cannot wear armor of any kind? Ah. Cannot real skill books. Start effects resistance. You're you're here because your family didn't trust the media. They were prepared and you won't let them down. They've got your bug out backpack and you're writing no lying books. Lone Wolf. Medical Marvel. Cannot be revived during combat. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff. If Nice Fox finished last, then you finish first every time. Okay. Very angry in blood. The funny of ancient warriors flows through you. If you see an alley fall in battle, something inside you snaps. When an alley is down in combat, enter Berserker Rage. Gaining 100% critical chance and 3 AP for one turn. Wow. After Berserk Rage ended, minus 4 AP for the next two turns. Okay, so if she dies, I get pissed. Okay. 
waste roamer. You walk so much of this waste world that you glow into you. In you, it doesn't even burn anymore. But you're different now in ways you can't explain. <laughs> That's interesting. But experience is down. Variations of drunken kung fu have flourished in the wasteland. Masters of the form stagger and predicament strike with wild rage. They are not, however, popular neighbors. What? Gain 50% damage while drunk? <laughs> have to go get that booze all the time. But it contradicts with our, our build with that, so... Okay. You have a thing for pain. Receive 33 percent damage melee damage bonus range damage bonus yeah but we get damage also so um, I'm kind of thinking I don't want to go with the Varangian blood that's what I'm gonna go with so if our um, when our ally is down, we're gonna enter Berserker Rage. Gonna go Berserker on them. Okay. Let's go on the second character. So. Identification. Okay, we're gonna go quicker with this one. Uh, Gomor... Gomorrah? So, Sodom and Gomorra. Female. Let's go with the voice. Spotted. Here they come. Let's do this. Are we? Damn! Shit just got. Damn. They see us. New targets incoming. Uh oh. They have us at a disadvantage. Hmm. Here comes the pain train. Come and shoot. They saw us. Shoot. Okay. This Spotted. We'll go with the, this one. Background. Okay. Well, we're gonna go with this one. Uh, penetration, paladin. Well, what I think I'm gonna want to make her kind of um, use ranged weapons a lot, and stay away. So one range and one melee. So uh, fire damage bonus, explosive to damage bonus, critical chance bonus damage to robot vehicles, kick ass, barter evasion, great resistance, humans, hard ass penetration. Uh, I don't know. Where is it? Hmm. Maybe make her a bomber. Explosive damage bonus. Okay. Might be good. Okay, we're gonna make her like that. Explodomaniac. Okay. Female. Alright. Let's go with appearance. So we're gonna make her the opposite of the guy we did. So. Definitely just a normal face. Kinda pretty. I think. Okay, let's go with this one. Hair. What about your hair? What's it gonna be? She got the same options that he had, but 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 different though. So um, okay, Peek-a-boo. Oh man, you can change the hair here. Why well, didn't see it? But does does this also mean facial hair? Okay, we're gonna make a little modification back to him. Okay. Alright. Wavy. It's gonna have wavy hair. Um something to wear. Hmm. Mask. Hat. I don't know. Okay. Somewhere funny. 
Okay. Um, gonna put this mask. Jacket. Let's go with. Wow. All right. Looks good. Pants. These are funny. Okay. Let's go with the colors. Okay. Physique. Gonna make her huge or no? Make her average. It's slender. Starting weapon. There we go. Um, rolling weapon, heavy weapon. Hmm. It's either gonna be a heavy weapon, or they're gonna use heavy weapon with him, and I'm gonna use like a sniper rifle. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. He's gonna be sniping people off. Okay. Penetration luck. Hit chance. Okay. Range damage bonus. Yeah. Gonna put the most of that into awareness. Then we're gonna put um I don't know. Maybe a little bit of luck. And Leadership range, experience, bonus, critical chance, intelligence, and what else? Okay, let's go with another awareness. Okay, skills. Automatic weapons, big guns, brawling, melee combat, sniper rifles. Yep. Okay. Put three. It's gonna be it. Well, maybe put two. Maybe I need to put something else also. Um, maybe have her first aid kit also. And... What else? I don't know if she's gonna lockpick. Maybe even put her some lockpick. You can't put anything, this everything, there's so much stuff. But maybe I get to pick up some other characters along the way, so I might be able to customize them or put them, this stuff, as I go. Uh, what else? Okay. Maybe put some more. No, I'm not gonna put more. Healing and effectiveness. Just gonna put one, and the other one we're gonna put in the four sniper rifle. Can I put more? Yeah. All right. Okay, and a quirk. Okay. Um, okay, let's see what's, what's, what she can do. Make her resistant. Mm, I don't know. Service no damage. Occasionally. Yeah, but we, we gave her also an explosive thing, so... Something with explosive. Pyromaniac. Catch on fire and using explosives. Oh boy. That's a lot, but I think 
This might be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna put this pyromaniac. Though I wanna do something with the skills. Flamethrowers and our oversized weapons. I'm gonna put some in the big guns. No? Here. Big guns and... Yeah. Maybe she can use a flamethrower also. Which is can be used up close, so... Alright. There we go. Okay, one last thing. Appearance. Hair. There. That's what I want to do. I just wanted a beard to be white. That's all. Like Santa Claus. Alright. So this is it. Sodom and Gomorrah. Confirm. us what do we have okay how would we even play this combat movement during combat your rangers may need to take covers or change attack positions blue spaces are areas a ranger can move to with high in, within high in enough action points left for an attack orange spaces are areas within their maximum movement range the red target preview line shows if their new positions place them within targeting range Okay, so this is where I can move, but it seems like I cannot hit nobody, because I have this, so... Okay, what is this? Final action. Okay, we can play with Gamora because because with him I cannot do anything right at this moment. I cannot get close to them, so we're gonna go with her. And attacking. Left click an enemy within your weapon range to attack them. Enemies within your attack range will show your hit chance above their head. Okay, 56%. 95% right okay we're gonna shoot this guy since he's a safe bet one shot nice spending left or AP once you finish acting with character you may have action points AP left over that's okay you can put them on a good use by opening your quick bar and selecting one of your final actions ambush defend or prepare defend myself okay and we can play with Sodom now use items his character slots med hypo hmm I could try and get somewhere but I don't know I'm gonna be, be exposed so okay I'm gonna go here here and I'm gonna defend shit what's that oh 
they're picking us out pretty fast. Okay, apparently Almost she's working it. on fixing that big, the big gun, so... Okay, what we can do with Sodom? I can kill this guy, but I'm gonna be get exposed to this one. Okay, w let's go with Gamora. And... And what? Kill somebody at least. No, these doesn't have a big chance, so... Reload. Charge up this ability with each successful attack. Target specific area of enemy to inflict special effect. Okay. We're gonna kill this one. Oh, this one is charging. So. Okay, can we shoot another one? How about we shoot this guy? Oh, not enough AP. Okay, then defend. Okay, Sodom. You can do this. This is gonna spend a lot of our AP. Hmm, maybe it was a bad idea to choose this type of melee guy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's whack him, I guess. Or I could kill it. Okay, let's whack him. Okay. If we go to the style, we can take this, but I can also go back. Not enough AP. Hmm. Pretty exposed to the war bot. Not enough AP. Oh, I can guard here, I guess. get back here okay HP. Okay, vehicle turned online. It's time to even the odds. Left click on the vehicle or use tab to select it, then attack the Dorsey Warbot to take it out. Alright. Oh wow, that's that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take them out. One clean shot. Alright. Okay. I was gonna use my health. However, I could um, I could get back here and get some cover, which is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna use the med hypo. Nice. And then. Gamora, your turn, baby. Okay, kill this one. Wow. That's good. How about this one? No. Alright. I'm over this one. Then I'm gonna defend. That's it. We took him down. live through this we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam okay we'll each find our own way up there got it. and catch him front and back got it uh understood major good and remember arizona's depending on us 
There's no giving up here. There's no going back. All right, move out. Okay. Alright, so um, that was pretty much for the it for this video, as we went a bit further as expected with this video, but that's okay. First video you know of a game, you have to take a lot, of, especially with this one. So um, yeah, group versus individual selection, you're now controlling a single character. This is useful when setting up before a fight or navigating past land, mines and traps. However, while exploring the world, it's generally better to keep your entire squad together. You can quickly select everyone by pressing space or by left clicking and dragging the cursor of the box select your entire group. To move your characters like click on the ground where you'd like to go you can also hold down the mouse button and your characters will follow your mouse cursor. Try now and proceed with your mission. Okay. Alright folks, so um, this is it for this video. So um, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Uh, tell me what you think about this game. Pick it up yourself from Steam, GOG, wherever, Epic Store, whenever you want to buy it. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next one.